Triton have been at the heart of Britain's bathrooms for more than 30 years and since the beginning have always understood that ease of installation is key. So when we design a shower, we always do it with quick, hassle-free fitting in mind. As well as easy installation, Triton is also committed to providing innovative design, exceptional value and quality parts so that installers can fit and forget. Extensive research involving installers identified that compatibility of the water and electrical connections are the two key issues when selecting a replacement shower. For instance, Triton's new T80Z features a reversible water inlet that allows for both right and left hand side entry points, and the optional Z Unifit kit which allows installers to extend the existing electric supply cable on the majority of replacements. It saves time consuming alterations to the existing supplies. So, whether you're beginning a fresh installation or replacing another electric shower, the T80Z offers easy installation with universal flexibility. Let's look at what's involved with the new installation. First, check there's at least one bar of water pressure for full performance. However, a benefit of the T80Z is that it still heats water with as little as 0.7 of a bar. If water pressure falls too low, it activates a low pressure indicator on the unit. The supplied template shows the five water entry points and six cable entry points, accommodating right and left supplies, and can be used to mark out preferred entry points. With the supplies in place and the tiling completed, the unit is ready to connect. Drill new holes and insert wall plugs ready to secure the T80Z. Flush out the pipes to remove any debris before fitting the unit. Connect the unit onto the water supply and screw the unit to the wall. The reversible water inlet allows for both right and left hand connection. Tighten the compression elbow onto the unit and secure the inlet fitting with the two screws supplied. Unlike some showers, the T80Z features an easily accessible water filter, just in case the filter gets blocked. Make the electrical connections to the terminal block and earth post. To commission the shower, connect the start-stop switch in the cover and temporarily fit the cover. Set to the cold setting and fill the unit with water. Once commissioned, remove the cover and fit the pipe entry trims. The T80Z features pre-cut entries, so there's no need for cutting out. Connect the start-stop switch in the cover and fit the power-on neon in place. Finally, fit the front cover and secure with fixing screws. To complete the installation, fit the riser kit. The user features of the T80Z include a power indication light built into the start-stop switch to indicate when the electricity supply is switched on, a start-stop push button to select your favourite shower setting every time, a separate temperature control that can be adjusted to suit the user, and a power selector for full heat, economy heat and cold settings. And finally, a rub clean shower head with five spray patterns. When replacing other electric showers, cable and water supplies may differ. Here the cable and entry points are on the left hand side, but with the T80Z's unique reversible water inlet, this installation is made simple. Swivel the water inlet to the left, make any minor adjustments to the existing supplies, make any cable adjustments to the existing supply cable and connect to the terminal block. Commission the shower on a cold setting and complete the installation. We will now replace the shower incorporating the Z Unifit kit supplied with the T80Z. In this example the supply cable is too short to reach the terminal block in the T80Z. But with the Z Unifit kit, the 
the cable can be extended to make installation easier. The template indicates the minimum length of cable required before needing to use the Z Unifit kit. Make any necessary adjustments to the water inlet. Fit the earth extension bracket and connect the earth extension cable. Next, swivel the water inlet on the unit to the right and make the water connection before completing the connection of the earth cable to the earth post. Fit the supplied installing shroud onto the cables for BAB safety compliance. Secure the inlet fitting with the two screws supplied. Using the supplied terminal blocks, connect the cable extensions. Fit the mounting bracket and secure. Make final connections to the terminal block. Commission the unit and fit the cover. And that completes the installation. For more information about Triton products and services, you can visit our installers website www.tritoninstallers.com Here you can find the latest news, take the opportunity to chat on the Triton forum and post questions to Steve Saunders, our technical manager. You can even join our increasingly popular Triton Installer Club. And why not enrol for our free comprehensive installer training courses?